All right, uh, let's look at the homework 15.7, uh, problem number eight. All right, so let's look at this problem. All right, so first uh, we want to find the mass, total mass, uh, so of the solid bounded by polar uh, parabolic cylinder, uh, z equals one minus uh, y squared, and the planes uh, x plus six z equals six, and x equals zero, so that's the y z plane, z equals zero, the, that's the x y plane, and the density is six. All right, so uh, let's set up the um, this integral for mass, um, so m. All right, so let's see, uh, we have to actually sketch the picture, right? So let's uh, draw a picture. So here's what it looks like. So here is the uh, z axis. And here is the uh, x axis. And here is the uh, y axis. All right. I think I might need to go uh, that way a little bit more. All right. All right. So it says that, uh, let's see, we have a cylinder. Z equals 1 minus y squared. So it's going to hit 1 here. And uh, it's, uh, it's a a parabola so it looks kind of like this All right and it's a cylinder so it's going to kind of extend uh, this way like that and kind of like that oh that looks uh, not How about this I'm going to just uh, draw it a little bit better all right and then you have a plane uh, x plus 6 equals 6 all right, so let's see if I, let's see, let's look for the z-intercept. The z-intercept is going to be 1, and the x-intercept is going to be 6. So I think it's going to go through uh, here, so 6. And then uh, you have a plane, uh, so I'm going to try to draw a plane like that. And uh, here's a, uh, it's going to go through here. So we are cutting this um, uh, cylinder by this plane. So you can see that, uh, let's see, it's going to look uh, kind of like this. So here's the cylinder. Uh, let's see. So the, it's going to be a, a, a plane cutting these uh, cylinder shapes. So it's going to look kind of like that. All right. So we got this uh, solid, so I'm going to probably draw like that, All right? So we have this solid, uh, which looks um, uh, kind of like this. So let's see. So you, you have a curve. So this is part of the uh, uh, cylinder. So it looks like that. All right? And then you have uh, a flat piece right here because this is uh, cut by the um, the plane there. All right, so let's set up an integral for the mass. So it's going to be a triple integral. All right, then uh, we have, uh, all right, density is 6. So we can put that in there, all right? So let's see, I'm going to actually, let's see, fix, um, uh, let's see, y and z, right? So it's going to start from there. So it's uh, that right there, there's x equals 0. Then you're going to extend over here until it hit this plane, right? So uh, that's the plane. So x is going to be equal to, so I have to look at this equation here. That's the plane. So if you solve for x, we have uh, x is equal to uh, 6 minus 6z, right? So this, this x value there is going to be uh, x equal uh, 6 minus 6z, right? So we know that uh, x is, uh, so if you do it with respect to x, uh, x is going to be uh, from 0 to uh, 6 minus 6z. All right. And once you've done that, uh, we're going to have to, let's see, I'm going to try to, uh, let's see, do it this way. So here, 
now we're going to fix uh, y then the z is going to be so i'm going to go up here from here to there so we're going to have to cover let's see this uh, region right there All right so in order to cover that you can see that it's going to start from uh, here is uh, z equals zero up to you hit this uh, 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 cylinder which is z equals 1 minus y squared All right so it looks like uh, it's going to z is going to so if you do it with respect to z next so it's going to go from z equals 0 all the way up to um, 1 minus y squared All right then what you need to do is you know that the, this is going to be one here and that uh, end is going to be negative one so to swipe the whole uh solid you have to um a y is going to go from negative one to positive one so you're going to have a negative one to positive one and dy right so i'm going to cheat a little bit here i'm going to just compute this using geogebra right so bring up a geogebra all right, so we want to uh, integrate. So um, uh, integrate, all right, so integral. And the function is 6. And the variable, I'm going to use x. And starting value is 0. And the ending value is 6 minus 6z, right? Then uh, hit, uh, let's see, yeah, so I'm going to hit enter. All right so we got this value all right then we want to integrate integral all right so i'm going to use uh, a result so dollar sign one and the variable is uh, z and starting value is zero ending value is one minus y squared i right? hit enter all right then we want to integ integral all right then we have i'm going to use the result from line two and the variable is y and you are going you want to go from a negative one to positive one all right so i'm gonna uh, call this guy uh m all right so hit enter enter all right so uh here uh mass is uh 144 over five all right so let's uh type it in we got the 144 over 5. All right, let's check the answer. Submit for testing. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got the uh, mass correctly. All right, all right, let's try to find the uh, x bar. All right, so in order to find x bar, we have to find uh, a moment with respect to y, z plane. All right which is going to be right exactly the same uh, integral sign and the bounds are actually exactly the same so you have a 0 6 minus 6 z and 0 uh, 1 minus y squared and a negative 1 to 1 right and then you have a 6 is the thing All right but uh, we have to multiply by x so you have a 6x uh, dx dz dy all right so i'm going to uh, compute that all right all right so m is already defined here so i'm going to just call it uh, m is equal to 144 over 5 all right so then i'm going to just um, uh, erase this one so that uh, i you know it already know m all right so bounds are exactly the same only thing i have to change here is i have to uh, use a 6x so if I do 6x here, right, everything else is um, uh, turned into, um, uh, I mean, adjusted. So this is going to be the value for m sub yz. So I'm going to call this guy uh, m sub uh, yz. Right? I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to try that and to see if it takes it. All right? So, yep. All right. All right, so it looks kind of, let's see, uh, it's kind of, let's see, maybe uh, 
How about if I do this? I don't know if it takes it. Oh yeah, it does take it. All right, so we have that. So in order to find x bar, all you have to do is this. Uh, take um, uh, m sub y z, right? Then divide by little m, right? Compute that. All right, let's see if it uh, doesn't seem like, oh, okay, sorry, I messed it up. I have to put the column equal here, right? Then hit enter, enter, All right? And I'm gonna say um, column equal, All right? So hopefully this, All right? So it came back and that's a 15 over seven, right? So X bar is going to be uh, 15 over seven, right? And I'm gonna say a Y bar, if you look at the object um, here, right? If you look at the object, uh, since it's symmetric about the um, uh, X Z plane, so y bar is going to be zero. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that in. So y bar is actually going to be zero. So I'm I'm not going to do that one. But uh, let's do um, a z bar, right? So z bar, I just have to change that to, right? Instead of 6x, we have to put the 6z. And then I'm going to change, go through that. And you can see that I have to change the name here, All right? So this is going to be, if you're doing um, uh, Z bar, so we have to find a moment with respect to X, Y, All right? So hit, hit that and hit that, All right? So we have, well, let's see, so we have that, All right? Then uh, what we need to do is uh, we change that to uh, X, Y. Oh, okay, this is already changed too. All right, that looks kind of bad. Let's see. Oh, okay, sorry. Here, I have something I don't need. All right, we do the calculation. All right, so it came out to be, let's see, uh, 2 over 7. All right, so I'm going to go here and 2 over 7. All right, so let's uh, check the answer. Submit for testing. All right, uh, he came back and looks like we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.